Hey, I'm Gemma. Welcome to the Create on Your Campus channel. We're going to be creating today a really fun project that's great for team building and cooperation. So what you'll need is some kind of string, enough that you can cut four to five to six pieces at a time. And you want those pieces to be, generally speaking, you can make them arm's length, which is pretty long, or you can make them um, maybe about 25 inches in length. You'll need some rubber bands and you'll need some cups. The important thing about the cups, and plastic is uh, good for this project, is you want them to be cups that have a little lip on them. So you'll take a cup. I've already got a string ready. You're going to take uh, your strings, you have equal length strings, and it's going to represent one per person. So you want to have probably at least three people in the activity, but you can have five, maybe even six people, and they're all going to be working together. So you're going to take your string that you've already pre-cut and tie them on and space them out equally around your rubber band. When they're pulled, it stretches the rubber band. So each person pulling the rubber band is gonna stretch it. And what we wanna do without talking is they wanna take their rubber band and stretch it around the cup. Since I am here on my own and I don't have another person, I'm going to cheat to show you what I mean. So you'll take your cup and you wanna get your rubber band on and then get each person holding a string. And the object of the activity will be either to pick up a cup, so they would have it um, cupless initially and they'll have to stretch their rubber band out equidistance. Each person will have to participate in order for it to go down onto a cup and then release it gently so that the rubber band can hug the cup. And that way they'll be able to uniformly, everybody at the same time, pick up the cup and move it to a different place. They can take different cups that are spread out on the floor and then stack them up one by one as a team. Again, they're not talking. They just know the object of the game is to move the cups from one place to the other. And without that talking process, they really have to tune into one another to find the way to communicate and gently pull on their string and look at each other and be cooperative to get it from one place to another. This was something I got to watch happening with a class full of kids and it was wonderful to see how everyone was working together without saying a word. And it really builds mutual respect as well. So I hope you like this idea for team and cooperation building in your classroom or at home with siblings. It's a great project. We'll see you again for another fun project next time. And in the meantime, have fun with this one. See you soon. Bye-bye.